Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Steak and Eggs. Uh, we haven't been in the studio for two weeks now because last week, me and Techie were at Anime Expo, but we just released our first special. It was pretty cool. Asmin did not fuck up a single soda. <laughs> Who expected that not to happen? Like, I, mean, I, mean, I, just, I thought there'd be at least one. No, no, no I don't think so. It's, you can tell Absolutely. it immediately. Yeah. There's, a, there's a smell and there's a taste. You just look See, for the ingredient. You, you, everybody thinks, oh, it's the same. No, it's fucking not. And so, yeah, I, I don't feel, uh, I'm not surprised. I feel like maybe I should have done it as well since I'm, not, I'm yeah. not a soda drinker. I feel like I would have yeah. fucked up, but then that would have been embarrassing. Well, it's like, yeah. it's, it's like yeah. for, for palates such as Asmund Golden Eyes that are so advanced, it would be like <laughs> giving advanced. someone a piece of pizza and one has just cheese and the other one has anchovies on it and then asking them which one has anchovies. Right. It's, a, it's an enormous difference. I don't think it's advanced. He just only eats the same like, like five foods. Oh, so then, yeah. of course, you can tell the subtle differences. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing is, yeah, I, I, I eat the same foods all the time and you don't mess with success. That's what works. How was Anime Expo? Was it good or not? I thought it was good. I loved it. It was as great as this really? Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar that I still enjoy after the taste test. Still not as good as the original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, dude, yeah. Anime Expo was, was insane. Sick. Yeah, we both streamed. Uh, I didn't even think of this until we got there, but um, my stream was kind of... It was cool, yeah. But it was basically meet and greet simulator. Uh huh. Hey, not mine. Was... Mine was crazy. <laughs> mine was mean? straight up nuts. Okay, you have the problem of being relevant. I don't have that problem. Okay. What you, on, on, people were <laughs> stopping you for pictures just as much on mine. Yes, but I ignore them. It's fine. So what I did was I had a TTS bot on my shit, and I was dressed up as oh a French man girl. That was I'm not even awesome. kidding you, Asmund. Within like the first like three minutes. Uh huh. What's the worst TTS that you think could possibly come out of of, of a TTS in a public area? Bomb. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I I woke up and I checked your stream. I was like, Oh, Techie's streaming. That's great. I'll you know I'll see him there later. Mm -hmm. I I am on my way to the con. He's already offline. I'm like, What the fuck really? happened? What yeah? What happened? <laughs> because it was so fucking hot. Yeah. I was dying. Two and a half hours in. Carrying a 50 pound backpack. Oh, fuck that. Like, yeah, bro, I didn't happen. have a camera guy. I didn't have Monkey D. Luffy carrying my fucking backpack. <laughs> I don't have that privilege. Yeah, I, I loved it. It's so cool meeting people. And yeah, so I, I had a, a Luffy cosplayer as my cameraman, just like a what random the fuck. A random guy we grabbed from the con. You just, he just carried the backpack. You just recruited him? Yeah, we yeah. recruited him. All right, him. here, come here, come here. Let's go. Let's <laughs> yeah, go. I, I, I paid him though. Okay, well, that's good enough. Yeah, he was cool. No, and the Anime Expo had, it was like a, it was like a, New reality to me. I didn't really? realize that anime cons would be like that insane. Like the 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 every like the Honkai panel, amazing. The Genshin panel, amazing. The community events, amazing. Yeah, all the merch they were selling, the cosplays were incredible. Mm -hmm. I was impressed, honestly. Like people put yeah, you, a lot you of work into it. You would have liked it. It was cool. Yeah, dude, they have a life size pom pom. Mm -hmm. at the so, yeah, and they showed me. Okay, the picture. that was not life size. That bitch was like five times bigger. So they had a really big. Pom -pom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, it, it, was, awesome. it was like five feet tall. Yeah, no, I, I saw it. And like, yeah, it was like the size of a fucking Snorlax. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's what I expected it would have been. <laughs> Bro, it was so cute, man. It was so fucking cute. And like, cute. Anime Expo was good, but the parties there as well were nuts. I just, I can't believe that people were just walking around Anime Expo with body pillows. Just straight up, no shame, getting girls to sign their body pillows. And it's like, there it is. Yep. That's I, good it was, shit. It was kind of, it, it's like in a way, it's like almost freeing, I'm sure. You know, to just go there and just simply not give a fuck at all. Oh, yep. One of my favorite parts was uh, the VTuber meet and greet, seeing all the, seeing people just sitting in a crowd waiting to meet a VTuber. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And they're all like so happy. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it was cool. I was making people's <laughs> lives when I was there. Really? I was doing an IRL <laughs> stream with uh, Nanners and Aethel. Yeah. And they obviously, they have anonymity. Right. And uh, Nan was wearing her mask and she told me, okay, Tectone, don't tell anybody that you're with me, okay? Yeah. So obviously I told everybody that Tectone. I was with Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like immediately. And uh, going up to people and being like, oh, so you watch VTubers, man? Because they have like VTuber merch on. I'm like, oh, who's yeah. their VTuber? And like, oh, I really like Nanners. And I'm like, that's her. Really? And they're like, no, they're not. And then she would be like, Tectone. And then they're like, oh my God, <laughs> I know the voice. Bro, it was so funny. And then the best thing was, is when I found people who didn't like Nanners, I would make them shit talk her to her face. That's, when they, that's what I would say. Like, yeah, yeah. just wind them up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Dude, it was crazy. I, got, I, got, I was on LSF like seven times. The comments were good on six of them. That's probably the first time that's ever happened. Yes, it was yeah. dope. It, it all turned around when Angel Tone came out. I know. Angel Tone's been the best PR move I've ever made, man. You know? Maybe During I'll the just, Final Fantasy stream? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll just stop being a dick. Uh, besides this one clip where I had a TTS on, I was going into an Uber mm -hmm. and uh, SpongeBob. You ever heard the monster TTS of SpongeBob getting railed? No. No, so pretty much you go ah 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 for SpongeBob when you don't it with Monster TTS, but in the in the actual TTS it sounds like ow 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 <laughs> he's getting slammed. <laughs> it is so oh my funny. god! So that was blasting when I was going into the Uber, uh, and then people were like, "You made that Uber driver so uncomfortable." I'm actually his cousin. He messaged yeah. me about it. Meanwhile, like we got out of the Uber and he was like, "Bro, y'all were funny as fuck." Yeah, and then we tipped him like a lot. Because you kind of have to when you have TTS I think on. that nobody really gives a fuck. Like every yep. Uber driver where they don't get robbed, like that's <laughs> yeah. a good one. Yeah, there's nobody starting trouble, starting to get, trying to get in an argument with them or anything weird, throwing up in the car. Yeah, I think that's probably a positive. I learned that Uber drivers did not give a fuck when I was down there mm -hmm. because I was going to play, to go to a place called Sushi Anya in LA. It's my favorite sushi joint down there. Oh, I went that there place with is Emmy so last good. Time. Yeah. Super fucking good. And there was an active shooter in Little Tokyo. Uh huh. My Uber driver knew that. And he was going to drive me there anyways because he needed to get like, a, like a, I guess paid, I guess. And I was like, hey man, there's like a shooter over there. So can we like not go? Can we just, can we just go to the other safer one? And he's like, I'm so glad you said that. I was going to drop you off there anyways, but it's been rough. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, went to the other place instead. But They've uh, always seen worse. An Uber driver has always seen worse. Also, I have thrown up in an Uber. Really? Oh, geez. I felt really bad. That's bad. And now... A word from our sponsors. My name is Emmeru, billionaire and philanthropist, and I'm currently on my Cash App Sigma grind set. If you're like me, you're waking up at 4 a.m. every day and absolutely crushing it. Passive income streams. Don't be weak and ignore the possibilities that Cash App can offer you. Start each day with a 10 minute ice cold shower, followed by daily affirmations and meditation. Then manage your money with the number one finance app in the US App Store, Cash App. What, do you want to end up as a production assistant named Jay or something? Nobody wants that. What, did you think there'd be money in there? Why would I carry briefcases with money in it when I have an all-in-one financial app? It has easy tools for spending, sending, and saving money. I do have a briefcase full of money, though. These are just my supplements, you know, the basics. I have to stay alert and energized for my passive income stream grind. Buy my e-course. Listen up, betas. The best way to improve your Sigma grind set is to download Cash App for free in the App Store or Google Play so you can take control of your financial life. Thanks to Cash App for sponsoring our podcast. Check out the link in the description. Can I talk about the party we went to, Amy? Yeah, I don't care. Dude. We went to this party. It was like, uh, what was it? It was like a whole shit ton of VTubers like Numi, Bao, Buff Pup, uh, and then some other content creators like Saikuno, Carl Jacobs, Foolish, um, Shoto. It was so sick. Uh, I went there originally to socialize with everybody who I wanted to meet. Uh, Hectone sat at the beer pong table for six hours. I'm not yep. even exaggerating. Jesus. He yep. did not leave. Yep. I couldn't lose. Well, I lost once. Okay. But then I got brought back in by Jimmy. You know Jimmy here. Oh, yeah. The coolest motherfucker. Yeah. Which we need to get on the podcast. I love that guy. Well, almost hit me with a uh, bottle rocket. Did it? Or uh, uh, what was the Roman candle? Oh, that was him yeah. in the clip? That was him. Oh, yeah. Why were you just standing there? Oh, I, I thought I'd be able to move out of the way. And you did. Yeah. Yeah, you were dodging. The iframes were crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to do it a lot, a lot when I was a kid, so I thought I'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit out of practice, but, it, you know, it managed. Dude, I didn't so, light myself on fire. So I, when I play beer pong, I don't shoot like the arc. Yeah. I just put my hand up in the air and uh -huh. then I beam it down like a fucking meteor. That's smart. Yeah. yeah and uh, so naturally I win for like an hour and a half and yeah. Miz, Miz shows up and Miz is like, oh dude, tech down. Oh God, you're so garbage. You're only good because you're tall. Oh, yeah. I'll crush you at beer pong. You're only good because you're taller than me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. So I play <laughs> the entire beer pong match on my knees. Uh -huh. And I fucking eviscerate him. Oh my god! Oh my Dude, god! Dude, but Tyton also does the thing where he like reaches over and goes. Oh, here we go. Oh, what he'll like reach I'm over. I'm not the, the table. only person that was saying this. Nanners also, was saying this too. Yeah, but you were also drunk as fuck. No, I was not. Emmy, are you kidding me? You don't think you were drunk there? No. Bro, you you took like three shots. Even next to me, that's the ones I saw. I was drinking, but I was not drunk. There's I was no, tipsy. There, it gets more than that? 
Yes. You were like, techie, 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 I want to get a snack. Can you take uh-huh. me to get a snack? <laughs> I'm like, it's because I don't want to go into someone's house. Yeah. I don't know alone, bro. I'm and like, they had this okay. pile of snacks. I was like, Tech Tone, can you walk me to the snacks? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was but fun. you weren't drunk. No. no. Of course mm. not. You, you don't want to see me drunk. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> That'd be a mess. Oh my God. Oh mm. my God. But uh, fun yeah, I, fact, Saikuno is the greatest beer punk player on earth. Really? Oh my God, yes. I would have never expected that. He always comes up the same way where he's like, I'm yeah. not very good at this, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, anyways, mm-hmm. sinks it. Does it like yeah. five times. And uh, there was Iron Mouse on an iPad as well. Uh-huh. And she was being like carried around like a baby the whole time. Oh my fucking God. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, but it was good. I wish you came, man. Yeah, one of these days, maybe I might have to leave the house, but... Uh, oh, know. yeah, two or three people that came up to me to ask for pictures were like, hey, is Asmin here? Like, where's he at? And I'm like, you really... What do you think, idiot? You think he's here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kept on telling you what the con... Yeah, we're with Asmin, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's like right over there. Like, dude, no way, dude. Where is he? Like, yeah, ah, you know. yeah they'd, they'd see me and Techie. They'd be like, oh, steak and eggs. Like, is Asmin here too? Yeah. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, he's just, he's just, he's, he'll be here soon. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Be here soon. They're like sitting there waiting. Yep. Like, check Twitch. I'm live at my own <laughs> house. Like, oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck. I knew Tectone was an asshole. Yep, damn right. Dude, I think you'll go to an anime con uh, whenever you start Genshin Impact as well. Probably, really? Yeah, probably around the same time. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, if I ever go to one of those, I actually, like, I think it's like going to a zoo. Like, you get to see all the, like, the weird, crazy animals and, like, mm-hmm. all the weird-ass people. Like, I don't know what, like, this new fixation is. How many of these different pictures have I seen of girl of guys getting girls to step on them? Oh, I don't get it that is shit. crazy. Oh, I had a couple people There's ask so me for that. Them. My security guard was like, no, we have to go. Yeah. I mean, I get it ironically. Yeah, of But course. I don't get it where people are like serious. Yeah. I don't get that. Well, that's a weird thing. But it's it's. I feel like you have to be serious to ask in most cases. Because I feel like if it's like for a joke, you'd be like, oh, well, like it's kind of weird, you know? No, I'd do it. I'm well, like, hey. If they're, well, then you I'm say I'm streaming like, too. That's yeah. different. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Like, it's it's a, it's a bit odd, I would say. I like when I get sat on. That's cool. Really? Yeah, I had this one chick. I think her name was like Janet, Jenny Belly. I'm going to feel so bad for mispronouncing her name. Uh, she's super sweet. Uh, she sees me like every con. And she's like, oh, yo, Tech, you want me to sit on you again? And I'm like, all right. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here you go, stream. Was she the <laughs> one with, uh, that like you took the picture with on like yeah. the last one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the mm-hmm. other girl? Yeah, that's what I thought. That shit cool. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll go over one of those conventions. The last convention I've went to, like besides like BlizzCon, well, I went to TwitchCon too. Like I've never been to a convention and people weren't weird. Like they're, they're I mean, like they're normal, right? But it's it's a convention normal, right? Mm-hmm. I, but I had three weird experiences. But yeah. What happened with you? Oh no, no, not like weird in that way. It's just like there's a lot of people there. It's super loud. Etc. Right? It's just kind of, it's a bit much for me. Mm. I had some weird experiences at this anime expo. What yeah. happened to you? Well, okay, the first one was just funny. Like, it, he just, like, messed up. There was this guy that came up to me to ask for a picture, and, like, we took the picture, and as he was walking away, he was like, I love you, and he was like, I love your content, and then I, I see yeah. him walking away, and he's literally like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, Actually I felt so bombing. bad. Yeah. <laughs> he was, like, hitting himself. I was like, uh, and then outside the con, uh, after I was done streaming, Someone came up to me and they gave me like an, an envelope and they're like, oh, I want to give this to you. And I was like, oh, thank you. And Anna written was like, it was like, Emery, you're a great streamer. Thank you. And inside of it was like $300 cash. I don't know. I don't know. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my God. That is crazy. Okay. Yeah. yeah th- those had, aren't like that bad as far as Conic I've had people go. give me like a dollar in real life. That's you sick. know, like, yeah, I never had $300, <laughs> like a, a letter like that. Oh, my God. Dude, eight more of those dollar donos, and you get the Nacho Supreme from Taco Bell. It's actually crazy how expensive it is. <laughs> it really is. I, I I can't believe it. It's like $9, $8 for nachos I used to get for $1. Imagine uh, that. Yeah. I had a one, well, I had a couple weird experiences with the guy, but one really stuck out. There's this one guy who, like, he was a viewer of mine. And I used to play like Among Us with my viewers all the time. Yeah. This fucking weird fuck comes up. I'm not going to say his name. He doesn't deserve the acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. He's like cross band and me and every single one of my friends like oh, servers. And he comes up. He actually, he got a photo with you too. Really? Yeah. And for me, I was like, nah, I'm good. 
He's like, so, Techie, it's been a long time, huh? And I'm like, who the fuck are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm so-and-so. Wait, what did he do to get banned? Or is this not and a- not what we're talking about on here. Okay. It's weird. Okay. It's weird. Okay. And I'm like, hey, man, I don't I don't give a fuck about you at all. Yeah. He's like, well, y'all go get you the pictures, Emeru. And I'm like, okay, dude. That's not my problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some dudes, I don't, I don't get how they like think like, oh, I banned you in my chat and on my Discord and across all of my platforms. I would like to meet you in real life. I'm good, bro. I, I think that they just get off on the confrontation that you can't be too mean to them, so you just have to tolerate oh, them to an extent. I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> like, I do not want to talk to you, brother. I'm good. Yeah. Fucking weird fucks, man. Other than that, it was great. Mm -hmm. And there was an Ifrit statue from Final Fantasy 16. Really? How big was it? Fucking enormous. It was like seven tech towns, like worth of like, worth of like meat. What like the fuck? thickness and height. That is crazy. You saw it, huh? Is that the big black yeah, dragon? Yeah, yeah, that one was cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it was like 50 Emirates. That wow. shit was nuts. How is that seven you but 50 me? That's how much you weigh? Yeah. <laughs> like 105? Yeah, so I'm like 240. That the, math, the math still doesn't check out. <laughs> it's gotta be close. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, you know. You just, yeah, who knows? But other than that, that got me to another thing that I want to talk about, which right. is it is really fucking hot. It is crazy how hot it is. It is hot everywhere. Like I am dying. Like it, the the world is dying. The planet is dying. The yep. plants are dying. The animals are dying. And do you Everything really need is dying. anyone else? God. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. what I was thinking of yeah. when I said that. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just crazy. Apparently, like the hottest days on like the temperature of the Earth have been recorded. It's are kind we of dying nuts. soon, dude. I had to do something very rare when I came here, which was, it's so hot where I put my phone on like the thing. Yeah. The heat coming through my window made my phone shut down. Jeez. So I had to like oh figure God. out how to get back here. I think like it's been 23 weeks. I should know how to get here by now. Yeah. But uh, that shit was rough, but it's fucking hot. And what I don't get is it don't, it's, it's nasty. hot. Like, it, even in the shade, it's just nasty. Like the air is burning. I have an outdoor ride so I had to bring them inside because it was so hot. Not bunky though, because they're gone. I don't have Bunky anymore yet. Fuck. What happened to Bunky? Um, I gave him to someone else. Okay. Yeah, I rehomed yeah. some of my rabbits. We saw his Discord log, so we had to get rid of him. Yeah. No, <laughs> Bunky doesn't have bad Discord yeah. logs. Which one also, is Bunky? Also, it was, it was, bung was Bungy. Oh, Bungy. Bunky is the cat. Bunky cat. Bungie. Yeah, he liked Bunky because I had this rabbit that. Okay, so, um, <laughs> a bunch of my rabbits I got because people were like, "Oh, like I, I like can't take them, but you're like the rabbit girl. Do you want them?" Yeah. And like. So I got Bungie because this person was like, hey, no one wants this fucking rabbit because its eyes are bugging out of its head and you want it for $5. <laughs> so I bought this rabbit for $5 Jesus. and his eyes were like bulging out of his head. But he was so sweet. That's so funny. Oh my God. Was he okay? Like, he Yeah, he was around? okay. He was just a little weird looking. Just a little weird looking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd be worried. Like, you know, you don't excite him or they're going to pop out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I've gotten to the point where when I talk about the weather now, I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm an old fuck. But yeah, there's actually right. like, mm -hmm. people are like, oh, how's the weather? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But now it's just like, oh, yeah, there's there's like magma mm -hmm. coming from the sky, <laughs> which I don't yeah. know how it's getting this hot. I guess global warming. Guys, it's real. Holy shit. Who would have thought? That's insane. So what do we do, Asman? How do we save the planet? Well, you stay inside with the AC on. That's what you have to do. You have to stay inside with the AC on and that way you don't have to deal with it. Yeah, it says 4th of July, hottest day on earth is many in as many as 125,000 years. 125,000 years? Yeah, well, that seems... Uh, that's that, like that, unfathomable. That, yep, that, that's totally normal, guys. Uh, carry on as usual. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Everything's totally fine. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy, though. Yeah. What if it is just a coincidence? Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, there's been a lot of coincidences recently. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, a lot of really crazy coincidences. Here's my question. If they're worried about the polar ice caps melting, why don't they just put a bunch of ice in the ocean? Uh, well, they can't, down, they can't put that much because the oh, ocean's really? really big, yeah. Also, it's like centuries old, like mm -hmm. miles deep ice. Why don't they just put it in a refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Tectone. <laughs> won't, they, won't they have everybody one day open up their door and yeah. just like put their AC on outside? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Planet. That makes sense to me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Why don't they take all the hot air and put it in space? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I, was, I was talking about this with my buddies. Uh, when you were a little, when you were, well, no, now that you were all adults here, you ever like go to a pool and then kids just say hella out of pocket shit? Or have y'all not experienced that yet? What do you mean? Like, there's this whole meme on the internet that I never thought was real, but I go swimming with my buddy Laro, which apparently is a meme now when I bring that guy up. But anyways, mm-hmm. my, me and my buddy Laro go swimming all the time. And kids just say hor- horrendously depressing shit. It's like, like you'll just be walking around, you'd be at a pool, and they're like, mm, how come my daddy put everything in boxes and left the house? <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't he do a backflip? <laughs> what the fuck? The pool, bro. You haven't seen that? <laughs> no, I've never had that happen. <laughs> it's so funny. This is a random side note. But yeah, global warming is bad, guys. I wonder if the kids that do that are doing it because it's actually true or they're doing it because they want a reaction. You and they have like their other friend recording I a fucking like TikTok. Kids of you. know. Yeah. Like do you do you not see like some of the the kid well like on, on TikTok, have you seen like schizo posting what these kids are making? These horrible like SpongeBob memes. What are they doing with SpongeBob? They'll use these like cr- creepy audios. They'll use like SpongeBob uh, clip cutouts and then they'll just write these awful fucking prompts like oh when when you're in your basement and the corpse you've kept in there the the creature starts eating it but you've been saving it and it's like these like 12 year olds are making this what yeah i can see myself doing that at 12 yeah for Wait, sure. on tiktok yeah. look up schizo posting on tiktok i'm i'm being serious it's like all these horrible spongebob videos i've never heard of the only schizo posting i've seen is too mad on twitter Okay. <laughs> what is going on with... That's a good one. Schizo. Oh, yeah. my God. You oh, my seen God. This? Oh, I, mean, I, to- I told you I well, wasn't I've exaggerating. Seen some stuff like that, yeah. Fuck that, um, bro. That is creepy as shit. I wish I did not look that up. That is horrifying imagery immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well... I I mean, well, I don't know. Like, whenever I was in middle school and, like, early high school, I did a bunch of weird shit like that, too. I I don't think it was really... Like, it's just kids being kids. No, I mean, I get it at middle school and, like, high school. But I'm talking, like, like six-year-olds. Yeah, sure. Well, they're they're learning from the middle and high schoolers. Existential dread. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just what kids do. Kids do all kinds of crazy shit. Like, I, like there used to be kids that would like kill frogs and like kill like gra- oh pull the God. legs off a grasshopper, shit like that. Well, those are the kids that grow up to be uh... car salesmen. Yeah. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, they're just weird fucking ass kids. Like that. That's it. There's nothing really, nothing to it to me. Did you guys see that? I just uh, write it off. Was her, it was like an Instagram influencer who like she went on a podcast and admitted to like killing cats when she was a kid. And lost all of her sponsors. Like, what the fuck did you think? What is wrong with people? Why would you? How many did she get? I don't know. Like uh, <laughs> two or three cats. Get? Like, I mean, five cats. Like, what are you talking about? Is this like a factory? She's an evil fucking person. Like, what, what, what did she think was going to happen? Well, she's how'd just you, nuts. How'd she kill him? I, I don't even know. I didn't read that deep into it. I hit him with a stick. I had a, I had a, I had a relative who would like really hate animals. Yeah, because I grew up in the, the South or well, mm. Woodstock, Virginia. I don't right. know that's South, but it was kind of like, it was all rednecks. Yeah. So it seems like people would consider the South. It's the South. Yeah. So he would like kill animals mm-hmm. or like maim them Jesus. and then skin them alive. Oh my God. Yeah. Why did you do that? Uh, so many reasons. It was incredibly oh, Like fun. animal, like what, do you have a bad experience? Rabbits, squirrels, just anything. He just hated life. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he would maim animals, skin them alive and then like nail them to like So then did he shit. like murder his wife or something? So what's he doing now? I don't want to say. Is he, he in, in jail? jail? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is he in jail? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want him to come I after think, me, I but I'm just saying it was weird. Yeah, it's that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that, it's that guy. That's crazy. I, I, I never really had any of that stuff happen or any of that. It's just I usually expect like kids, whenever I see kids doing like weird, like crazy, creepy shit, I just write it off. I'm like, ah, you know, it's kids being kids. Most of the time, especially with like internet trends, people just do stuff and it's like they don't even really know what's going on in their heads. So they just act like whatever they think is going to get a reaction. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You know what's a horrifying image to think about? What? It's the hottest day on earth. You're like, oh, okay. Well, it only got to like 106, like 66 yeah. Fahrenheit. Mm-hmm. Sun gets hot. You just see like a beam come to that ozone layer. Yeah. 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113. We all just melt. 
because we couldn't fucking take care of the ozone issue by putting ice cubes in the ocean because the government just doesn't get it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to solve global warming, guys. I have no fucking idea. But it has, man. Uh, but it, seem, it seems like it's a problem. It definitely does. All right, you let's, know? Let's, let's hash this out. We, got, we can figure it out. Right. So first of all, everybody should drive electronic cars. I don't know if that's better or not. Maybe it is. Okay. Well, the manufacturing of the cars takes time and, you know, the manufacturing of the batteries might take okay. energy. And ignorant pollution. question. I don't know. Ignorant question. Can the ozone layer heal or is it just like we have to like stop making it worse? I don't know. I think it can, but we need to find like a shaman and they like take a long time in the yeah. queue. Yeah, like does it, will it re recuperate if we stop like harming it or is it just like this is the best it's going to get? We just can't make it worse. If I had to guess as somebody who got a C in chemistry... <laughs> um, I, I would say that there is probably a equilibrium that if you don't do anything, it will trend back towards that. Mm, okay. Like, I, I don't think it necessarily heals, but it will gradually improve to where gotcha. like it is at its natural state. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was asking. I think like I, are you looking at fuck it up? do I know? Yeah. I'm, I'm Googling it. <laughs> I feel like that's like the dumbest way to phrase it. Can the ozone layer yeah. heal? Like we're in a Can fucking video game. <laughs> Does it respawn or not? What's the spawn timer on a new ozone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, solar panels are good. Okay. Okay. Um, speak up is the best way to make an impact on global warming. Power your home with renewable energy. Oh, wait. The hole in the Earth's ozone layer, once the most feared environmental peril facing humanity, is set to be completely healed over most of the world within two decades, following decisive All action right. by governments to phase out ozone-depleting substances, a new UN assessment. So does that mean, like, it will in 20 years, or it will if they the government does this decisive action shit? Probably both. Okay. I think they made that shit up. Yeah. yeah. Just, like, so it does heal. My out. question wasn't that dumb. There it is. <laughs> Eating Eat less meat. meat. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, well, <laughs> Eating you know, less meat essential to we curb do the climate solar change. Panels, that's report. fine with me. Yeah. Hey, I'll eat double the vegetables. It's because, for you. It's yeah. because cows are bad for global warming, right? Is that what, what it is? Cows do. They drive cars. Apparently, like they're, literally, they're gas. cows fart, and it creates a lot of ozone and <gasps> like gas and stuff. I know it sounds crazy, but that's actually true. That's insane. Yeah, it is. And like, that's been a big thing, like for a long time, like people say that I assume that like on an individual level, you're probably not doing a lot to affect ozone and like global warming or anything, but like you have some massive fucking ship that has, it's like the size of a, of a city that's going across the ocean. I bet that's what's causing it right there. So mm -hmm. like stop shipping things from Europe. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Just email it. You what don't need fuck? to go over there. <laughs> yeah. Leave them over there. Leave them alone. <laughs> Yeah, why, you why are they bring all shit? shit? You just email that shit, brother. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, three D print it. <laughs> yeah, no, I bet that's what it really is. I I don't know though. Like it's it is insane. Like I see all the time people trying to like uh, debate global warming and like say that it's fake and and everything like that. I actually think that it's kind of funny because usually I feel like people have gotten progressively more insane. Have you all seen that picture of that lady? in the airplane who thought that there was a lizard person on the airplane? Yes. No. What yeah. the fuck? Yep. Oh, yeah. She was going absolutely apeshit because she was certain that there was a person on the airplane who was a lizard in like a, disguise. Like a specific person or she's like, there's someone here. I can smell it. I don't remember. It. I mean, does it matter? But like... Imagine that, being that specific person yeah. and just be like, please, man, like, I'm just trying to, to tell take her? my flight. Yeah, like, imagine like being that lizard person and being yeah. called out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, oh, come on, man. Like, oh, what the fuck, oh man? God. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to take over the world. And like, okay, you know, so you're messing people it up. that think global warming is a conspiracy, what do they think is the purpose of it? Like, uh, that, like the government's just basically saying it? the purpose of it is to enact a uh, universal government, or one world government, where the climate is like the you know quote priority, and there's also well, something called a carbon tax that makes a people have to pay tax. more money to the okay. government. And it's basically a method of control where the government can feel like they have the authority to mandate what you do with your life. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much standard conspiracy. Uh, Not really that crazy. Yeah. Why are they all related to the government? Well, because those are the only people that matter. Like, who gives uh, a shit what's some, like, was there a conspiracy about, like, what the, 
I, I don't know, like a, some <clears throat> random ass company does who gives a shit. But this is crazy. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a form of like apocalypse, like yeah. death by sun, which reminds me of the, the new anime season. What's that? Uh, there's a show called uh, Zom 100, which is going to be fucking awesome. I think you would love it. What is it? Uh, it's about this dude who's horribly depressed in his nine to five job. Like, just doesn't do anything with his fucking life. Just goes okay. to work, and he's pretty much like a zombie every day. I can see why you'd say I'd like it. Yep. Yeah. But then, here's the best part. A zombie apocalypse happens. Uh-huh. Everybody's like, he goes to school. He, like, he goes up to his job. This is all in the first episode. Goes to his job, and he finds his boss, like, getting completely eaten by zombies. Yeah. He doesn't get afraid. He doesn't care. He gets stoked. And right. he just immediately decides, there's a zombie apocalypse happening, man. I'm going to start living my life before I get killed. And he sure. has this 100 things he wants to do before he kicks the bucket by being uh -huh. eaten by a zombie. Okay. I used to think about the same shit when I was a kid. Really? I don't know if y'all ever thought that. I was like, dude, I hope zombies come. That way I can just get the fuck out of school, bro. Kill zombies, which, you know, when you think about it when you're a kid, you're like, oh, it's awesome. It'd be so cool uh -huh. if there was a zombie apocalypse. And then you realize it would be literally the worst thing on planet Earth. Well, because I would assume they would mess up the electricity. It wouldn't be able to play games. Like, it would just, like, fuck up everything, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, like, I never thought that. Absolutely not. You don't think it would be cool to shoot zombies in the head than it would be to play video game? Uh, I mean, like, no, because then they could bite you or something like that. Yeah, if you're bad. Yeah, then you also have to be, like, fit and, like, you know, eat well, take care of yourself to, like, be in shape and stuff. It's a so, lot like, of work. That's true, but there's, there's also a reassurance thing, you know, where it's, like, when you that? go down, nobody else is coming. So, like, I think the whole thing where people fear dying is because yeah. they don't want to miss out on things that happen. But if a zombie apologizes, well, nothing's happening. We're all right. dead. There it is. Peace. That's an interesting the way to look at it. I like that. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good way to see it. I still am not looking forward to a zombie apocalypse, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. Like, to me, I, I just, like, I, I don't ever think something like that's going to happen, honestly. No, I, no I, way. I, yeah, I, I never worry about, like, it's the same as, like, the ozone layer, like a solar flare. Everybody just gets incinerated from the sun. Like, if this shit happens, I, you know, it happens, right? You get hit by a car. It is what it is. So I, I, I don't really think about that stuff a lot or really, like, a... I try not to get too anxious about it or stressed out. I, I, I like fantasize about it. Really? Yeah, I think it's cool as shit. What would you do if there's a zombie apocalypse? I'd die. Okay. But <laughs> if I didn't die, uh, I would, I don't know, man. A lot of people, the biggest question is, would you stay by yourself or would you make a group? Yeah. I would make a group. Yeah, I'd make a group uh, Immediately. I feel like yeah. that's what you have to do. Yeah. Um, as much as I want to be like Daryl from The Walking Dead, you know? Uh, I'm good, bro. I just get my boys, unless they sucked. Yeah. Now the real question is, what would you do during a zombie apocalypse if you made a group and one of your friends betrayed you? Well, how would they betray you? How are they going to betray? They like you? eat all the food. Like you have rations, and then they eat all the food. Oh shit! Well, I mean, That'd like, what fucked. do you what do you do? I mean, like, yeah, slice their head off, man. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get the food back. Eat them. I mean, then that that has its own problems. Maybe. It does. I looked it up. What does Wait, it like do? what? Cannibalism? Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, if you eat a uh, a person's brains, it will give you a disease called Kuru. And uh, that's why, did you guys ever see the book of Eli? Oh, the one with Denzel Washington? Yeah. That's a good movie. So, like, the reason why they asked to see your hands is because if your hands are shaking, that means that you're a cannibal. Oh. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Or they just make is it, shit is it up. just the brain or other parts? Yeah, because I, well, I I'm not sure about that. I, why I, I why does that happen? Up. Is it like brain chemicals? Uh, like pyrons. They're like a special thing mm. inside of a brain. I don't even really know what they are, but uh, yeah, don't eat them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like the government is just making up lies to keep us from doing what we you need think to so? do. Yeah, because imagine if like, you're fighting somebody, uh -huh. and then like mid fight you like knock him out, mm -hmm. and you start eating his foot, you know. Like bath salts, that, like, like a bath salts situation. Yeah, exactly. Like imagine like how much that fuck somebody up mm -hmm. in the brain. I mean, imagine, like fighting somebody, and they start to eat you mid fight. I feel like if that happened to me, I it would just be so insane that I would just pretend like it never happened. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I would just completely write it off <laughs> as some bullshit, and it's like it never happened. It's just crazy. I don't even know what this was. Yeah, that'd be fucked up. What, what was some shit that you think? The government yeah. has just lied to us. Do you have anything like that? Um, 
like to, to quote unquote protect us. They just make yeah. up these lies. Oh, God, to... I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> uh, you don't see. have to. <laughs> you don't have to. Tell me after that. Okay, I'll, I'll just say there's probably a lot of things that they know that they just don't want to tell everyone because it's just not worth it. Yeah. Like yeah, a, I, about I, like incidents that have happened and things. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I, I think that there's probably like weird false flags and crazy shit that's happened. The government just doesn't tell people because it's just better that people don't know. Yeah, like why, why even tell them? Yeah, yep. no, there, there is 0% possibility that we have not been contacted by aliens. I think that there is a like 99% possibility that we haven't been. But there's, like, a, but there's a chance though. Of course. Yeah. Like, there's, there's no way aliens aren't real. There's no way. Uh, I mean... I, I mean, there is definitely a way. Uh, I, I just think that it's very unlikely. I think that aliens do exist. I feel like if you don't believe in aliens, you're either horribly depressed, right? <laughs> or incredibly spiritual. Because I just feel like there's no way to actually think that we are the only life forms in the entire universe. Well, it's really big, right? And it's like, big. So you roll the dice that many times and you'll probably get one or two, you know? Yeah. But it's like, who knows? I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't expect that. Like, what if we had, what if we did contact aliens and they were just really stupid? Like, yeah. They were what like really, really, really dumb. And, and they, Fuck. they what? <laughs> I said, what if we're really stupid? Yeah, what if we're the stupid aliens? I think we definitely are. Yeah, that could be possible. I mean, for a good example, the iPhone. Uh huh. I feel like it's the dumbest shit ever. Really? What? Why? What it's the fucking same phone, slight upgrade every year. They charge a billion dollars for it. Okay, but it's smart to the people who made it because then they're making a ton of money. Yeah, but it's dumb to the millions who bought it because the people who made the iPhone are this lizard sure, people. Sure, but they but they like it. That's why they they spend money on it. It's not because they think they need it. That's the that's the problem is that they like it. There's a lot of things that we like that are like Wonder a waste why? of money. Because we're the dumb ones. Oh, no. That's uh, the problem. Okay. Yeah, it comes yep. right. It comes full circle, huh? Yeah, because we're the fucking dumb ones. I'm a hundred percent. There's no fucking way anybody convinced me that we are smart. There's no fucking way. Aren't you both Android users? Yeah, yeah. I used to have an Android as well, but I don't. I, I just now? like iPhones. I don't know why. Yeah. What's good about them? I like the interface. Okay, so what happened was I, I got. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you say. So I got the phone for free from a sponsor. There it is. All righty. And so I started yeah. using it again. I was like, hey, Great I actually phone, like guys. this. Yeah. But it wasn't an Apple sponsor. It was like a mobile game sponsor that wanted me to play on the phone. And they just gave you a phone? <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. That's yeah, it was a sponsor I really hope I get pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Boulder's Gate motherfucking three. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. That's, that's my child. Did y'all see the scene where the dude has sex with a bear? What? No. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a, uh, there's a dialogue option that you can have sex with a druid in bear form. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. I was like that my guy buddy. with the blonde hair looking at the bear. Yeah, that's what it was. I was wondering why my buddies were talking about it fucking bears. And now that makes more because we were all talking about Diablo uh -huh. 3 because I was just playing Divinity Original Sin the other day. Right. Just to get excited oh for God. it. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, it's crazy. What do you think, Emmy? Cool. That's, <laughs> that's, that's bestiality. No, I'm wondering. Yeah. I'm wondering, like, <laughs> why would you have to do that? You don't have to. It's like an iPhone. It's a bonus. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, yeah, it's like a bonus event, right? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Really? Bro. Oh, I got it. Bro, that. no. That yeah. is crazy. No. Doing, that, doing that on stream? <laughs> no, tech tone. That I, would be so I funny. I would absolutely do it. Yeah. Bro, when I get called a furry. Yeah. No, dude, that's just way too fun to do on stream, bro. I think that the people that are furries are the ones that are afraid to even express any type of like feelings about it. You yeah. Know? Because they're like, they don't want to be seen as like, oh, they're like embarrassed about it or trying to hide it or whatever. But people who are actually just not furries don't mind making jokes about it. Yeah, I agree. I think what are you trying to say? No, I'm just saying it is what it is, right? <laughs> like well, that's All it. I said was, I said on stream, if I had a sonic fursona and suddenly everyone thinks I'm a furry. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no what? No way. What the fuck? That is not real. That can't be real. That's real? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. That's in Baldur's Gate? Yeah. 
I mean, I heard there were like animating like orc facials. What? Well, it's a different kind of facial. No, yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm. I'm pretty sure it's like a customer like bust on an orc's face, what? but bear sex. That's crazy. Okay, what, what kind of game is this? Is this not what I think it is? Oh, no, it's exactly what you think. Yeah, it it's is. like D and D. Yeah. Yeah, but like, it's a fantasy game. Yep. So is it like a porn game? No, no. It's like oh, you play Mass Effect. No, but I, I've watched it be played. It's like that. Only well, like, oh, like like the, where the dialogue uh, okay, options are sure. like Mass Effect where options. There's like ways to <clears throat> yeah. There's okay. way to just frick people. Yeah, but uh, okay. essentially it's like a it's like a what top down. I would say probably a turn based. Mm -hmm. It's not real time. It's a turn based game. Yeah, I I just don't know how to I know how to play. I just don't know what the genre would be. It hurts my brain thinking about. It. You play as characters. Well, and it's an moves. RPG. It's just a straight up RPG. Oh, yeah, game. It's a RPG. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I, I'll probably play it to some extent. I don't know if I'll uh, play the whole thing through because like the games are kind of long. But uh, it's really impressive to see how much like effort they put into it. Like I had no idea they were gonna like do all this. I thought it was just some bullshit game, honestly. Yeah, I played the game and then the, this witch in a swamp. Yeah, uh, she took my eyeballs. What the fuck? Yeah, and then my character was blind forever. Oh my god! And I was like, and then I wanted to go fix it, and then said, you can't fix it because you're in the beta. And then I'm like, all right. Then I did it again. I got my eyeballs stolen again. <laughs> you just like, couldn't get away from it? No, she kept taking my yeah. eyeballs. Well, what games are you guys also excited for? Oh, fucking uh, Armored Core. Armored Core? Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. I mean, have you seen that? Mm-mm. What's that? Uh, yeah, when I call it Mecha Dark Souls, people say Bat Chest. Uh, but it's a <laughs> mech game made by FromSoft. Yeah, oh, that's wait, very I, I similar saw, to Dark Souls. Did you make a video about it? Oh yeah, that was like Mech Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I saw. I made that. a video as well. Mm. You didn't see it though, but it was cool. I didn't see it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was badass. Though. I love that game. <laughs> people aren't excited about that. I'm excited. Well, it I think that people just. Uh, I think they're excited, but it's definitely like a smaller audience. Because like you remember, Mech games used to be so popular back in like the early 2000s, and like now nobody talks about Mech games. I don't know what happened. It used to be massive. Yeah. I mean, I got tired of the mech trope because I think it's really stupid when they say, oh, you have to make your body feel the same pain as your mech. So then the mech gets punched and the person piloting is like, ugh. And I'm like, I oh. Don't know. I think that's like a just, that was like a Pacific Rim thing. Like, I don't think that was a, a thing everywhere, right? Pacific Rim. It was like uh, an Evangelion kind of. Yeah, yeah, Evangelion. She like or Evangelion. Uh, I believe Gurren Lagann as well. Uh, shit, Iron Blooded Orphans, I believe. Oh God, there's probably even more too. Then they made Attack on Titan, which is the first yeah. mech anime that's flesh max. You know, I don't know, man. I think it's dumb as shit. It's like you're in a robot suit. That being said, I just saw Pacific Rim for the first time the other day. Saw so what? Pacific Rim. Okay, that's a good ass movie. Have you seen that? Yeah. No. That's fucking good. That's old, right? It's eighty percent bad, twenty percent insane. Yeah. And the fact that, like, nothing else, like, big kaijus, monsters fighting big fucking monsters, I don't know how there's not more of that in today's society. And apparently Pacific Rim 2 sucked balls. I but. never watched the second one. Usually those movies, it's like the first one's really good or it's at least, you know, decent. And then after that, it's more just, like, fan service and just, like, you know, doing the same thing but, like, dialing it up a little bit more. Yep. A lot of those movies are kind of, like, for kids, too, honestly. So I'm not really that surprised. Oh, by the way, I wanted to know, what's going on with Diablo 4? Nothing. Is that bad? No. Uh, it's like people people are unhappy that the game doesn't have infinite content. Like, people compare it with Path of Exile, which is like, everybody stopped playing PoE. Like, I don't understand the logic, right? Because, like, people have already stopped playing PoE for the League, like, usually about a month into the game. Like, that's just how it is. And uh, whenever it happens with Diablo, before even the first season comes out, everybody acts like it's the end of the world. So, yeah, I, I think Diablo season's coming out on, like, the, the 20th or something like that. And they're going to add in a bit more content. Not a whole lot, but they're adding in a bit more. So, yeah, I mean, everything's good with Diablo. Have you guys played it anymore? Uh, I mm, played a sponsor with these two great people. It was awesome. It was a blast. Uh, but <laughs> I haven't played great, too, yeah. I've been playing too much Dark Souls mm -hmm. to uh, play more Diablo. Oh, yeah, I saw you've been playing three. How far, how far are you now? Um, apparently where I'm at, my chat's telling me I'm underleveled. Because I'm like level like 35, and I just beat this guy. He's made a magma, got a big old club. He's passed a worm with a ballista. 
And he's surrounded by like corpses of yeah. similar looking dudes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. I just beat that dude, and I had a weapon that my chat said was OP, so I, I got rid of it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm using the um. I don't know what it's called. You have a dagger, and yeah, you have a, a great and a sword, big sword. Yeah, right. And you stab the dagger in the ground, and then you sweep. And then you stab it again and you sweep. Yeah, and it's then actually you pretty cool. Fling yourself forward, do a front flip. Oh, that's and then cool. you slam the greatsword. Uh, and apparently it's like horrible, but it looks so cool. <laughs> so I'm still you killing shit with it. it. Yeah. It's cool as fuck. Mm -hmm. And then apparently there's a big old hammer in the game. And so whenever I get that, I'm going to use that shit. Oh, Lido's hammer. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's, it's like fucking enormous. Because my buddy, who I love, her name's Pink, um, she only used that hammer mm -hmm. and she couldn't beat the game. So now I have to beat the game using okay. the weapon that she couldn't beat. To show with. that you're better than she is. Yeah, of course. I have to assert my dominance. Well, how many times did you die in the game? Uh, I think I just broke 50. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, That's it's not a lot pretty good. I think on bosses, though, I haven't broke 30, but okay. I've died a lot in the overworld because when I play, I don't know. Apparently, chat says I'm cheating the way I play because the 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 trash mobs I just don't want to fight them. I yeah. have no interest at all unless it's like unless it's like a black knight, right? Or like a big dude. Like I don't want to go around killing dogs. Yeah, yeah like, people I'm good. just complain no matter what. That's not cheating. Like I I do the same thing. I'll run past mobs because like it's like I already killed them. I don't want to fight exactly. them again. But then they won't say I'm cheating. They'll be like, oh, you're being lazy. You gotta like kill them all. Fuck so, that. Yeah. I mean, it's just people want you to play the same way they played. No, but like. You know? But like killing these mobs is the biggest bitch way to play the fucking game. And I mean that. Cause like if I kill all those mobs, I'm gonna be like level 90. And then people are gonna say, oh, you're over leveled. Like, dude, fuck. I, I guess I could kill the mobs and then not spend any of the souls. Yep. I have no interest in killing the same fucking dog 90 times in a row, bro. It's so lame. It's that, a complete waste of time. That being said, yeah. Dark Souls 3, my least favorite Souls game so far. Really? Yes. Wow. I think it's my favorite. Really? Actually, maybe yeah. I liked one more, but I think one was more fun for me since it was like super fresh. Did either of y'all actually finish Dark Souls 2? I haven't. I, I can't. I'm like stuck in it right now. What do you mean you're stuck? So I, I have like the half health thing where it's like permanently yeah. half health and I've bought all the effigies and I'm just like, well, I can fight this boss but I have to do it perfectly because if he hits me twice, I'm fucking dead because I have half my health bar. So I just kind of like, it's on the back burner, I guess. Just get hit once. Yeah. So I have this thing about Dark Souls 2 where I'm pretty sure I haven't played it. But I also may have already beaten it like seven or eight times. What? Because there's this period of my life that I don't remember. And it's like a two-year span. And I might have played it. But okay. I also might. So when I play it, I'll know. And the life gems just seem really familiar. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is a Dark Souls game that I played. I'm not sure which one it is. And like, you walk into this zone, and there's like an ocean, and then there's like this big that's statue. That's Souls too. I might have beaten it like yeah, that's a, Souls too. I might have beaten the shit out of it multiple times. Really? Yeah, but there's like this two year period of my life. I just I just cannot remember. Holy shit! Okay. Yeah. So I Maybe might. You did beat it. You play Mass Effect? No, never. Oh, there's this period where Commander Shepard touches like this obelisk uh -huh. and he gains like memories of all of his like past lives and shit. Uh -huh. So that might happen whenever I play Dark Souls 2. I plan on playing it. Okay. And I also plan on doing Souls level one on Dark Souls or Demon Souls. Yeah. But I can't tell which one chat likes more. Probably uh, Souls Dark one. Souls, definitely. Yeah. Demon Souls is, uh, it, it's too niche because like people either didn't have a PS3 or they don't have a PS5. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna Souls level one. Yeah. Dark Souls. Uh, I think I have to. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a petty, petty bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an absolute petty bitch. And uh, I just need people to just shut the fuck up. And if yeah. I beat Soul, if I beat Dark Souls on Souls Level 1, I have no idea how the fuck I'm going to beat Manus. I have no idea. But I feel like if I do that, then people will just get off me, bro. Uh -huh. The Emmy better, Asmund better, every stream I played Dark Souls. I saw Souls. that a lot. <laughs> Is <laughs> especially during Abyss Watchers. It is a lot. Wait, Every, which one's Abyss Watchers? The, the, one the ones that, that's uh, with the the two guys with the sword, and then like they they you kill one of them, and then Another he has one? a fire sword. He has a fire sword. I don't even remember that one. Yeah. So you start the fight. It's one dude. Then another guy gets up. Then I another think guy I gets one shot up. him. That's why I don't remember. You did not. I was, I was trying to upset yeah. him. You ruined it. Okay. <laughs> no, that fight was that fight was rough. Oh wait, that's like the oh, the the guys that are like the the wolf pack. 
Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, okay, I remember that, that, yeah. that might be one of the few times where I was so beyond tilt, I could not function in Dark Souls. Um, you I, were having a bad you, you time. You should have let me tell him, bro. Why did yeah. you correct me? Did you see how that stream ended? <laughs> yes, I watched it. Yeah, it was I was... a good time. I was... <laughs> there's, okay, a lot of people see me and they're like, oh, look at how angry he is. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. There's a big difference between me playing angry and me actually being fucking furious. You were like depressed. Oh, yeah. You were not happy. You were having oh, a very, no. very bad time. <laughs> It's bad. I rarely, because my chat is like, they're like, they're like, oh, this is so parasocial to say. Mm -hmm. Like, I love talking to my chat. They're just right, yeah. good. I, I know, like, there's like a big chunk of like 200 of them. I've talked to all of them on like Discord via when we play Among Us and all that. Because I do a, a community Among Us nights, uh, at least until it got weird. Yeah. Uh, so I recognize the names. They're always fun to talk to. They're always nice. That was not my chat that day. Mm -hmm. I don't know where those fucking creatures came from, but they were unearthly. And I was... Probably my viewers, you know, that came over there. And are, yeah, probably. Yeah, mine. Oh, dude, yeah. I, you know what I'm trying to get? What? Oh, this I was so proud. I was playing D uh, Dark Souls last night, and uh, I was like five hours into it. And then all of a sudden, I get like seven or eight. Asmund's live. See ya. And I was like, dude, yes. Because that yeah. means when you're offline, they come to me. Let's go. I was stoked. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right, actually. Yeah, yeah it was cool, dude. I do people a... still do that? That's so crazy. I thought that kind of died in like 2017. Or yeah, I don't really see people doing that yeah. as much anymore. Yeah, it's like no. kind of a, I, I guess people usually get banned for it. So that doesn't really last for very long. I VIP'd one of them. I thought it was yeah. sick. I love that. Especially when uh, people will say other things like uh, Aethel. Like people will say somebody who like, I think it's cool. They're like, all right, this guy's live. I'm going to leave. I'm like, all right. Yeah. See you, man. Why Enjoy even, this room. But why even say it? It'll be a dick. <laughs> yeah, just being a dick. Yeah, just yeah. to be a dick. So funny. <laughs> Fuck. I, I just like, every time somebody does that, I usually just completely ignore it or ban them or whatever. Yeah. I like, just ignore them like, okay. Okay. Why well, even? Yeah. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Tech McTone with your day today, and this just in Manscaped. Our sponsor today now sells beard products. The new beard hedger broken is causing the public masses to act crazy, crazy, crazy. What I'm trying to say is there is turmoil and panic, and everyone is attacking each other. The streets aren't safe. But your beard can be. Just look at my flawless beard. It's a shining monument to the absolute majesty that can be afforded to you with the Manscaped New Beard Hedger Pro Kit. But what does that come with? Easy. We got the Beard Hedger, a rotary blade trimmer which is waterproof and has over 20 hair cutting lengths with one guard. That's insane! Then we got the Beard Shampoo and the Beard Conditioner. Specifically made to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote beard health. What else could you possibly ask for? Beard oil! To help you not be the crusty beard guy. That's disgusting. Lastly, there's the beard bomb that helps shape, shine, and make your beard look brand spanking new. But that's not all, baby! You'll also get three free gifts, a beard brush, a beard comb, and my God, you get scissors. But what do I know? There's an unbiased news anchor with a great beard. I didn't want to say this, but everyone is talking about your weird beard behind your back. People are following you around and watching you. The only way to make it stop is to clean up that beard. Also, there's people in your wall. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code steak at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code STAKE. Manscaped, Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths, Tech McTone, sign it off. Oh, by the way, uh, I heard there was supposed to be, like, y'all seen SFAN and NMP stream of the friends? Yeah, yeah the Twitch stuff. Paris. Yeah. I thought there was riots. Uh, but I don't see none. I mean, I, I bet it's probably just in different places. It's the same as like the media. Like there's probably riots in like different places in France. Yeah. And people just don't go to those places. Yeah. Because I was worried about their safety because I've been watching their stream yeah. like constantly. But uh, apparently where they're at is a little, it's very tame. Yeah. Because uh, I think I think what happens, like somebody died by the police officers, right? Uh, somebody oh got God. shot by a police officer. Yeah. 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 It was it was a complicated situation, but like over there, it's like you know they're completely they're they're completely different than like we are over here. Yeah, it's awful to hear about. So yeah, like I I saw it and like I wasn't really that surprised because usually like with any of those protests or anything like that, like there's like a lifespan to it, and then eventually people would just like just ignore it. 
you know, that's it. Yeah. They get bored. Yeah, they say 72 hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyways, off of a dark topic, there's uh -huh. another thing I want to talk about. Which which one was it? It was fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. Mayor Words. Go message, for it. He gave All us right. a TV Let's because he saw the Neander's hey, VTube TV? episode. He gave me a message to read. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Tectone, and this is how I talk. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate Mayor Words sending us a TV so I can meet my favorite waifus. Not only is he extremely attractive with a killer mustache, he also makes me want to be a better person, especially so that LSF doesn't attack me anymore. <laughs> TBH, I wish I had a father figure like Mayor Wirtz in my life. Boy, is that guy cool. Thank you, Mayor Wirtz, for showing me the true meaning of friendship. I also want to take this time to announce that I am no longer going to be playing any anime-style video games Ooh. or watching any anime. Wow, I am congrats. now. I am now going to invest my time into watching Frasier. Thank you for understanding. Like a real man. Dude, you know what's crazy? LSF, I think we're cool. I think we're chilling. Really? Yep, I think we're good, man. I think usually after LSF hates people for long enough, they get bored of it, and then they start liking them. And then after they like them for long enough, they get bored of it, and then yeah, they start Yeah, that's what I was them. saying. There's like a six-month cycle. Yeah. I think like anytime I see someone on LSF where it's like LSF loves them, it's like in six months, they'll hate them. Like, without fail. That's really sad. And then six months later, they'll like them again. Oh, yeah. I saw a post on you. About what? Asmogold scams viewers of $200,000 charity oh, gold. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. That, what the fuck was Wait, that? What, what was that? So, I haven't done a, like, a, a video. So, I was supposed to do a video where I went over all of the screenshots from Cataclysm. And I told the story of, like, the expansion, like, how I played through it. And I haven't done it yet. And I told people I would do it for the chair the charity. So everybody is getting pissed off at me. They're like, bro, you need to do this. And it's like, yes, I do. Like, I will do it. But like, people turned it into something totally fucking different. That you They're scam like, people that I, that I took the money, right? Yep. Or something like that. Yeah, where it's like, I never had the money. Uh, I just went direct to the <laughs> charity. Uh, you know, people donated directly. But yeah, uh, that's what it was. I was really surprised to see how many people got mad about it. But it's not really that surprising, especially because like, you know, a lot of those clips, they're cut in a way that gives an impression that's different than like what really happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That shit, that shit. Well, okay, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit comforting uh -huh. to say, which is weird to say. Yeah. But I like seeing my friends go through shit that obviously <laughs> isn't real because then I'm like, okay, so I'm not crazy. It happens to yeah, other then, like, people. Yeah, then like you'll see like when you read that shit, you're like, what? This is obviously not true. And, like you feel, Then you're like, you realize people feel that way when they see those things. About yeah, you. 100%. Yeah. Uh, but I was also, I brought it up on the stream. I was like, bro, guys, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. The fact that, uh, I don't know, man. People can just make shit up. Like, the agenda is so fucking obvious. It's ridiculous. Who cares? Like, I mean, really, that's the way I look at it. Is like, some, there's always going to be somebody out there that has an opinion about what you're doing or whatever. And it's like, really, I mean, there's plenty of people that don't like me. And it's just, that's life. I mean, you can't worry about that all the time. Because if you do, like, you're just never going to do anything. Yeah, and like people, like I think that like a lot of that type of community, because like there's like this like massive, like I think now especially there's like a massive like I I don't really like using the word, but like kind of like cancel culture mentality mm -hmm. where like people are constantly waiting for like a streamer to say something that's like out of line so they can like clip it and go on a rampage against them. Yeah, and I, I think that it's actually like kind of negatively affected like uh, at least English Twitch because like people are are too afraid to do a lot of like fun things because they don't want to accidentally, you know, make somebody upset or mad or whatever. I don't call it cancel culture anymore. I call it uh, the toxic gossip train. Yeah. <laughs> the toxic gossip train. Yeah. Okay. Y'all heard about that? No, but I no, think he's, he's talking about the Miranda Sings. Did you the Miranda Sings oh, video? Oh my yeah, that, God. Yeah, that's like a line in her, uh, her <laughs> oh, song. Oh, I forgot all I got about a, that. Did she ever say if that was improv or like if she like wrote that whole 20 minute thing? She for time. sure wrote it. For sure. There's, I don't know. Yeah. Why? Do you like it? Do you want to get it on Spotify? No. I, I mean, I was just wondering. Because if it's improv, I mean, it's honestly kind of impressive. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. I mean, sure. I mean, for improv, et cetera. I, like, I, I think that this is one of the very common things with like people that get, quote, canceled, is that whenever they do one thing, everybody looks back in the past and they see 50 other red flags that everybody just ignored. And I think with her, that was exactly what it was where she was like getting like girls to go up on stage that were like underage and do weird stuff. Like she was like wearing blackface and like singing like Beyonce songs. She just like 
And I watched the videos. I don't even know about any of this. I've never oh watched yeah, it. like I don't know what. The, like this, this is just a. Like who the fuck watches this? It's just so weird. Let me clarify what Asmongold means by weird stuff. Yeah. Okay. So she put a bag of cheese balls in her like underwear and made like okay. a little kid reach for the cheese balls in her pants. Okay. And there's another one that. where she gets a girl to go on stage, puts her on her back, takes her legs, spreads them apart, puts her face near her vagina. I don't think she did, she did the last part, did she? Yeah, I think she just maybe it was her, just a spread leg. Yeah, she just spread her what? legs, and it it was it was facing away. It was facing the stage, so like it wasn't to the audience, like which makes it like I don't know. It's a nine and not a ten in terms of like degeneracy. But uh, oh, it was for a fart joke, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no. And then she would like so the best part about it was that she would go into these group chats of people that were fans of her, and, and then they're all kids, right? Yeah, of all these kids and trauma dump her like. Uh, divorce, like, concerns and, like, what? fights. Yeah, she was, like, complaining about, like, her husband or, like, her boyfriend to this, like, 11-year-old. What the fuck? Yeah. It's so creepy and weird, isn't it? It was yeah. nuts. Yeah, I couldn't well, even believe it. Wasn't the thing that she was specifically called out for, she sent lingerie to like fans. What the fuck? I don't, I don't know exactly. I think it was I, about that. Yeah, that's that's just like what I heard. I don't want to say it's true in case it's not. Uh, but I mean, knowing her it probably was, but you know, who knows? Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I heard it was that she sent underwear to a fan. That's fucking weird. I watched like her do the Gangnam style thing and it was like 10 years ago and it was her just like acting like a complete fucking idiot, like talking in like a weird way. Mm. And it was like, I, I would almost say that it was like racist against Asian people or like Koreans, but it was just so stupid that it's hard to even say that. Like it was just fucking, like, is this a racist or is this just a fucking moron? <laughs> like, I, I don't even know what this is. It was just like, there were so many layers of weird to it. And uh after looking at like everything that happened, I'm uh you know glad that people don't like her anymore. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is this? Mark Zuckerberg challenges Elon Musk to a cage fight. It that be can't be real. It's better. No, than that's that. real. And then Elon Musk, his mama was like, "No, he can't do that because that's my son. He's not fighting and fucking up his face." Th that's real. That happened. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> the mom stepped in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mom stepped in and was like, no, my son's not fighting. My little boy. Wait, so Elon's a, a little bitch boy? He's a mama's to boy. To be fair, like Mark Zuckerberg literally won a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournament. Wait, what? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. Like, he would beat the shit out of him. It would not even be close. Plus, I would say Mark Zuckerberg is for sure a lizard man. And he's also like uh, like almost 20 years younger, 15, 20 years younger. So like there would just be no chance. And so now Elon uh, has challenged Mark Zuckerberg to a dick measuring contest. Wait, really? Yeah, really. I think Elon has the bigger dick. I think so too. I mean, he's probably a taller guy. And so it just you know, makes sense, et cetera. And that's probably why he, he challenged, that's why he started the challenge. You ever seen Mark Zuckerberg smoke meats? No. Yeah. Did you seen it? <laughs> Wait, what is this? It was like some video he did for Facebook. For, was it 4th of July? I think so. It was, it was him like smoking ribs or something. And it was just like the creepiest, like most inhuman video. Oh, literally. Do you think he does it on purpose? Like he knows and he thinks it's funny? No, no. One million percent not. No, he is not human. I, Wait, I, Jake, can we watch the smoke meats video? I'm pretty sure it's short. Isn't it pretty short? Well, there's there's cuts of it that are short, but okay. the actual yeah, live stream is like forty. Yeah. Minutes. Well, I I think. Bro, that, look at that fucking thing. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just think he's a probably a bit of a weird guy. What's wrong with this? If you were to hear the audio, you know, I'm gonna send it to you. Like you can react meats. to it on stream. This shit is horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the normal humans next to him. Exactly. You can see the human skin peeled over That's the his wife. the reptilian. Uh -huh underlying layer. Look at his eyes. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like, I don't think the guy's really that weird. You, you look at Mark Zuckerberg, you see a human? Yeah, he's not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, it's whatever. There's no way. Why is he so excited about meat and sweet baby rays? A lot of people are. 
Look, he's got on the pressure cooker. You're smoking these meats. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Got I, sweet I, baby I really rays. just, I don't think this is a big deal at all. <laughs> Like I, I thought he was a um I thought he was an alien or a lizard too until like there was a leaked Facebook message where he called all of the all the people that use Facebook fucking idiots because they gave him his information. And then after that I was like, Yeah, no, he's a real one. I don't know, man. Yeah. I, there's a saying where it says kill one to save millions. Uh-huh. Right. But if you also place one to control millions, I think that works. So you think that he's been placed by like the yeah, by powers like, that be. Yeah, by like the reptile Illuminati, because like it, I could see that. Yeah, I mean, imagine how easy it would be, okay. right? You give these people positions of power. I mean, they're going to fulfill the reptilian agendas, and uh, we're going to we're pretty much going to be used for livestock. So, in have like you been? Years. Uh, have you? Have any, either of y'all made Threads accounts? Fuck no. I have a Threads account. I made it, but I haven't tweeted on it. Yeah, or I haven't threaded on it. Yeah, I don't. I don't need a new yeah, social tweet media on account. Your threads account. Yeah, when I heard there was a new social media, I was like, "No, please, not yeah. another one uh, <laughs> yeah. to look at." There's no way it's gonna. There's no way it's gonna pop off. Nothing pops off. Everything's gonna be the same. Well, I don't. It, I don't think that many people are, are using it. Like for for us, it's like we kind of have to pay attention since we're content creators. Or like we don't have to, but it's good to. But I don't. I don't think it's really gonna go anywhere. I looked it up today, and uh, apparently, uh, it's had over a hundred million signups. Uh, in like five days, which is like crazy. It's the fastest ever. But the thing is that it's a lot of people that just have Instagram accounts. Yeah, it's, that are moving it's over easy. There. Like literally for me, all I had to do was press like a make threads button, have yeah. the app and like, that's it. It like yeah, transferred all my stuff. Like I didn't even really sign up. Do you start from zero? Followers? Yeah. Um, Anyone who makes an account, it gives you the option to follow everyone you're already following on Instagram. So I have 60,000 followers with no t with no tweets. I don't got no Instagram, bro. I ain't doing that shit. I mean, to be fair, that's probably the best implementation they could do. Right? Yeah. That's pretty smart. To be yeah, fair. it was smart. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't made an account because like to me, I don't really give a fuck. Like I just want to go on there. I don't care about any of this like drama or like the censorship mm -hmm. shit. Like I just want to listen to what people have to say. And if it's bad, yeah. I can well, block them. Well, threads also like... It, it gives you like an automated for you. It doesn't really let you control what you see. Like who you follow isn't necessarily yeah. what you'll see. And I think what they were doing is like they saw that Twitter was getting a lot of hate. So they're like, oh, we can take this chance. But they did the same thing with TikTok, with um, Instagram shorts. I don't know if what it's Reels. called. Or Reels. Mm -hmm. When TikTok was like under threat of like being banned in the US or whatever. But I heard that they actually lost a lot of money on reels because it, it costs so much to host. So I, I don't really see like them having success trying to imitate Twitter because they already tried it with TikTok. I don't think it's going to happen. And, and I feel like reels makes more sense for Instagram than threads does. So I don't really see it going anywhere. And everybody's already made a Twitter account. People are yeah. already ingrained on the Twitter. Like there's no reason to go somewhere else. Like, it, like why do people like who's going to go to like another platform that just has more censorship and more rules? Yeah, and the, like the you can't you post page porn sucks. on the threads. Like every time I scroll what? through it, it's just... It's What's the point lame. then? To make money for advertisers? That's the reason? I guess, bro. Yeah, who cares? Like, why, well, like, where's the value that the user gets? Oh, speaking of value that's dropped considerably, uh -huh. the One Ring was found in Lord of the Rings packs. Mm -hmm. Imagine being the, you know, Jimmy here? Yeah. He had like 40 booster boxes of the Lord of the Rings thing, getting ready to open them. It didn't, it didn't get found day one or day two as well. It's like it, first week or something. Yeah, it got yeah. found really quick. The yeah. day before he was about to open was found. Yeah. Ruined all of his content, man. I felt wow. so bad for the guy. Yeah, I saw people say like, oh, no way it's even in circulation. They're going to wait till everyone's bought all the packs and then they're going to put in circulation. Nope. It was just there. Yeah. Yeah. And found. Two million dollars. Is that right? Apparently. That's what people said. Minimum. Because Post Malone. Oh my God. Yep. That is fucking crazy. Yep. I want a see card like that that's $2 million. I'm actually going to look see if Post has it or not. I bet, I, I bet it'll probably go up from there because there'll probably be other people that have a lot of money that like want to just like have it, you know, as like a uh, collector item or something like that. Like, do, do either of y'all ever play Magic at all? I played a fuck ton up to the Theros block. Okay. I can't get into card games. Really? Oh, shit. Like, I, I only liked Magic. Like, I never played any other card game mm -hmm. besides that. I played oh, all I, of them. You really? Okay. I love them. You play Yu-Gi-Oh? Yep. Ooh. <laughs> what the Ooh, fuck? man. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh was good. I don't know, man. Like, Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh during the Black Wing and X-Saber arc was peak. 
it was so... Then mech dragons came out and ruined the entire game and exceed summons or, or, or the pendulum summons, whatever the fuck they're called. Pendulum, synchros, exceeds. Like, I, I can deal with XYZs yeah. and synchros, that's fine. Whatever the fuck pendulum was, there's weird shit where you put one monster forward, everything else back. It's just too much. But Yu-Gi-Oh! was very good for a time. But my favorite, besides Blackwing, there's a card called Genzo, Giga Chad. Okay. You put them on the board... Your opponent and yourself cannot activate trap cards anymore. It was so sick. His trap cards were the worst shit. The worst. That's why I never played the game. Yeah, but Magic. Magic's always been good. And it's, yeah. it's, I think it's... I don't think it's ever been bad, ever. Uh, there were some times where like, people weren't really super happy with it. And like players, you know, the amount of people playing it went down. But like they've done things to like renovate it and like keep it new. Yeah. Like I personally am not like really a huge fan of like the other collabs with other IPs because I feel like it kind of takes away from the immersion of the game. Mm. But like they've done really well. Like they did one with Walking Dead. They did one with Godzilla. And now they're doing Lord of the Rings. They did Baldur's Gate as well. Oh, uh, they Baldur's Gate? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Yeah, they yeah. had a... Um, uh, uh, Minx and Boo, which is one of my favorite characters from uh, Borders Gate. It's like this bald guy and he has a hamster. Super mm. fucking dope. But no, Borders Gate collab was sick as fuck. I was so <laughs> glad whenever they caught the, they found the, caught, whenever they found the one ring because it was like, now I'm not going to have to endure another card meta. Like, I was yep. so worried. Like, oh God. because I can't get into playing card games, but I like card metas. I yeah. love watching Sounds. pack openings. Really? Yep, so. I love it. I've never watched a single one. I love I'm pack openings. They're good, man. Really? Yep. I think it's so fun. I pulled a one ring. It yeah. wasn't the rarest one. Right, It yeah. was the borderless, but it was sick as fuck, bro. I love it, bro. How much was it? The rarest card I pulled was like three, $400. Okay. Which is so great. I pulled out, it was a ring and it was written in Elvish. It was like a one in 9,000 chance. That's pretty fucking good. Still, it was fucking dope. It happened on stream too. I was stoked as fuck. Apparently Miz was pissed, but Miz is angry at everything I do. Did he get a good one at all? He got a good one? I don't know. I think he pulled a ring, but I don't know which one. I think the difference is Miz spent like a lot of money and I spent like 200 bucks because I bought six packs and then I just you got- You made money. He made money? No, so you made money. Oh yeah, I made money. Yeah, yeah. Each pack was like, how much was it? 40 bucks. $40 a pack? Yep. So a box is like four or five hundred. It was a lot. I bought oh six packs. And I sniped that shit. Oh my god, that's so fucking ridiculous. How is that any different from Gacha? And at least it's like you know you get like something. That's a good point. Yeah, you just watched the Zeppelin yeah. video, man. You should know the what? The Zeppelin video on oh Gacha. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I saw that. Man, she really. Uh, man, that game really do it does something to you. Yep. Like I, I think that like yeah now I understand all those people on Twitter like how they're how they're getting mad and like acting nutty all the time. Yeah, dude, I I released a video this morning on how I do not believe you're gonna play Genshin Impact. Really? Is it one more to you why? Why? Because it is a waste of your fucking time. Why is that? It is not good enough for you to play it. So you think it's just like it's a bad game that's like not worth playing? You will enjoy it zero. Okay. We were talking about this before you showed up, yeah. um, and I told him that I think that the story is pretty good up until like. Inazuma, and then after that, it's like that's where I lost interest. But I don't know if it gets good again later. Uh, no, I 100 agree. I think the story from the beginning, uh, you know, meeting Senora, and then the beginning of uh, the Archon quest for Inazuma is so fun. Yeah. Right. There's way too much bullshit that just that on stream. There's just no. There's no way you're gonna sit through it. Not to mention, and I know you don't care. Your chat's going to say, you're playing the game wrong. You're playing oh, the game. Oh, yeah, I Play the game that. my way. <laughs> yeah. And like, oh, dude, why are you skipping story? I'm not kidding you. Aranyaka Quest. Google this shit if you're on YouTube right now. Aranyaka Quest, full playthrough. It is 12 hours minimum for one unvoiced fucking quest. It's insane. And I have to do that. No. Okay. Well, but, they're, but you're, they're going to want you to do it. So you have to do everything. You have to do all the quests. Don't skip the side quests. They're the best part. I never do that. Like, I usually hardly ever do. Like, I've done like maybe three side quests in Final Fantasy, and that is it. Yeah. I never worry about side quests or any of that other crazy shit. Yeah. But it's like, I mean, the games that you've played. Yeah. You're not going to, you'll probably like Genshin. I, mean, I would say high end, maybe a six. Uh huh. But like, it's really not that good. Aranyaka, look at that shit. Aranyaka World Quest complete playthrough. Oh my God. 11 hours. Yo, Jay, just, just play that for a little bit. Please understand. Yeah. 
I, I love how the the beginning of the video is Could a be disclaimer. Very overwhelming yep. for some. Yeah. <sighs> oh my that. god. Yep. And so, is it worth doing? Is there like a massive payoff at the end where there's like a really cool cutscene? Or so here's the thing: any answer I give, someone's gonna get angry. Yeah. So I'm good. Okay. All Find right. out, man. <laughs> Go do, do it. Do it for yourself. <laughs> yeah. See what it's like. Go do it. I, I realize no matter what I say, uh-huh. uh, people get angry when I talk about this game. No matter what I say. Doesn't that look epic? Yeah, you know. Dude, dude. And I mean this genuinely. Yeah. And I'm, I, I don't want to say it ever again, but I'm going to say it a thousand more times. Okay. Genshin would be so good if they just fucking killed Paimon and they like <laughs> delete her from the fucking game. Why? What's wrong with her? Because, Rivas, your has been nice socks. Thank you. Traveler, did you hear what he just said? He just said that Asmongold had really nice socks. That's so cool. I wish he would say that about my socks too. Wish she does do that. Man, that reminds me of a story when I was a kid. <laughs> Whenever she was, a, she is a kid. Yep. What do you mean? It, she says the same shit that you already fucking know. Over, you hear one thing, Paimon says it again. You hear one thing, Paimon says it again, because it's a tool for little dumb babies who can't fucking read. Uh -huh. And Paimon says, hey, in case you didn't know, this is what they say, and she just repeats it over and over and over and over again. They just need to fucking delete her from the game. Delete her from the fucking game. I think like she's probably a character that like people either like her or hate yep. her. Yep. I love her or hate her. Yep. One of these days I'll actually play the game though. I don't know. I want to play don't. it before 4.0. Oh, that way no. the uh, the new content comes out. I can play the new content, everything like that. If I just don't know if I'll be able to catch up in time. There's no way. There's, okay. there's, so it's just not going to happen. You would have to start like today. Fuck that. Because like a Necrit took him 700 hours to get caught Jesus. up. Jesus. Yeah, that's how much there is. And I have to do everything in order to play the new content. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, then it'd be fine then, right? Sure. But yeah. I will say, I thought, you, I thought you do. No, you, I mean, you have to finish one one Nic area to go to the next Nic area. Necrit beat everything, like everything in the whole game. Yeah. And his conclusion after seven hundred hours was, "Oh, the game's not good." Really? Yep. I thought he said it was good. No, he said uh, it's a good story with bad storytelling. Uh, I don't know. It's not awful. It could okay. be a lot worse. It, it's it's true. It could be worse, but like it's like it's like Elden Ring lore. Like I would say, I would never. Mm -hmm. And once again, Elden Ring is one of my favorite games. I would never want to play Elden Ring and try to go through the lore myself. I would rather oh, just no go on to you. Way. Yeah, just just go I feel on YouTube. the same way, bro. When I play Souls games and people are like, "Please read the item," it's like, no, I don't want to read every item and figure out what this means. I'm just gonna go watch a YouTube video about it. Yep. Yeah, it's like and that, that makes it way more enjoyable. Like, it's like I play the game, the game's fun, then I watch the videos like, oh, wow, so that's what was happening. That's really cool. Yeah. And that, that's it. Yeah, it's like, for this game, the story is great when it's told outside of the game. Okay. And the combat is fun when the game lets you do the combat. Right. But the problem is, is that it doesn't let you do the combat. And the other problem is you actually have to sit through this fucking story. It's even, it's, it's probably way better for just casual players, but as yeah. a streamer, it is mm -hmm. fucking horrible. I think what it is is they're trying to like draw up the length of the game because it's like this much content. They're trying to stretch into yeah. this much content, you know? Yeah. So they just want things to take a little bit longer to make people feel like they're more involved or whatever. Yeah, so that there's more going on. Yep. They're like yeah. more invested and addicted to the game. No, I, I will say. right about that. Here's what's cool about the comments. I made a video about how I, I just don't think that the game is worth your time at all. Mm -hmm. uh, people really want you to play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think people want me to play because they either want me to completely shit on the game or completely love the game. Like, uh, like I it. like Final Fantasy. Yeah, there's no way you what, like it. What's no the way. area after um, Mondstadt where Hu Tao is and Ganyu? Liyue. I feel like he could play to Liyue and have like the gist of the game. I agree. And that's like the first two areas. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's a lot. I mean, it, it's, people are trying to like min max me, tell me like what to do. I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to try it out one day and, you know, let people know of like a week ahead of time. That way everybody's, you know, able to watch it and uh, then just try the game out and see what happens. I do think I don't want to make a big deal out of it too much. I do think you should be free to play. I know you don't want to, but I do think you should be free to play. Why is that? Because uh, the game's combat just loses all, all. Because this happened to my account. It's just not fun. Like when you wail, 
you just you obliterate everything. There's there's zero challenge at all. You don't have to think. Like it's just it's really. Bad. Oh yeah, it's bad. Well, I mean, like, is it? Because I I thought that like it, like the abyss and everything is actually like pretty hard. Like that's like the hardest content, right? Well, Tecton also like was Giga Whale. Yeah, like, like I, I, mean, I was like a medium whale. Like I probably spent like this medium whale like one one k. Yeah, and I would struggle. Okay. I mean. I would Still play well, every I day and I spent a six figures, right? Uh, I, I could beat the abyss like with a blindfold on. Uh-huh. And that's not like a joke. Like I have a video on YouTube of yeah. me beating the abyss with a blindfold on. Because it's that easy. You have that much gear. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. People who are complaining are free to play and like they casually play. But any player who actually consistently plays should not have a challenge with it. Well, shit. Okay. My well, opinion. I, I don't know. I might try and do it just free to play. I just don't really know yet. Well, I, I think yeah. it's fine to whale, like have some five star characters. But yeah. then if, if you like go all the way, then yeah, it's probably too easy. That's how it is with Honkai Star Rail. Like everything is fucking easy. Oh, yeah. It doesn't 100%. matter. Yep. Yeah. That's why I didn't whale at all. Mm -hmm. Like that's why. I, but yeah, if you go Genshin, just go for Constellation Zero. Just don't go yeah. C6, please. No, I agree. I, know, I never yeah. went for any Constellations and yeah. the game was still challenging for mm. me. I kind of would want to play it and just wail and get all the really good characters and then just shit on the game and be like, wow, this shit's so easy. I'm so good at the game. <laughs> okay, then do that then. Yeah, yeah, that's 100% what that I Because that is do. what will infuriate. Well, they're going to get angry at anything. Yeah. I guarantee this video is going to be clipped and be like, look what he fucking said this time. It's so fucking annoying. Oh, man. yeah. I showed like one of my characters on Honkai Star Rail because I have Lucha at like level 80 with like, you know, full max out gear and everything. And people were just mauling about it, right? Yeah. Like all of the traces leveled up. You're like, yeah, guys, you know, winners win. Yeah. It's like people are like, oh, fuck you, payers pay. Fuck you. you <laughs> suck. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that a thing? No, I, I, I think somebody payers said pay. that. Payers should, pay. Maybe. I think I've funny. never seen that. That is so funny. It's clever, at least. Yeah. Yeah. They should use that. I don't know. Um, you know, it, it's, I, I think that's kind of the fun in like playing games like that is to, like my goal whenever I play a game, it sounds stupid, but I try to make the game look like as big of a joke as possible. Like I want to make the game look like absolute garbage that nobody wants to play. Okay, never mind. Yeah, well. Yeah, <laughs> well hard. What, I noticed a mm -hmm. lot of uh, like game reviewers that are more like content creators do. Like Dunky does that too. He'll like yeah. only show like bugs from games. Yeah, and people, people get so shit. mad. Yep. Exactly. Dude, then if you ever want to try the abyss, mm -hmm. you can go on my account anytime. Okay. And be like, oh, okay, guys. So people told me that this was going to be pretty hard. So I borrowed my buddy's account. Just eviscerate it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah, I don't really know how the game plays. So like, we'll just see what happens. Yeah. Wow, I used this ability. <laughs> Damn. So the boss is dead? Oh, okay. Yeah. So what's... Oh, oh it's over. Oh. Bro, okay. my Ayato is fucking disgusting. It has 99.5% crit chance. Which means it can just never just not crit. Yeah. And then it has near 300% crit damage. Jesus. So every hit is like, like razor blades. Uh, but it ruined the game because my, my artifacts are too good. My characters are too good. That's what I mean. You're only, you only don't like it. Your game is too good. And they're right. But like, I mean, yeah. they let me do that. So, I mean, shit, don't put it in the game. Yeah, then, I is guess. it your fault that you just played the game? Yeah, I know. My bad. I wanted to support the company. My bad, guys. <laughs> Jesus wanna, Christ. Do you want to read a review? You want to do a review? Oh, I'd love to, actually. Yeah. Here we go. This is from The Stick Nick. Truly a spark to my Fridays. The Steak and Eggs podcast has kept me sane these last six weeks. I've been dieting for a bodybuilding show that's coming up in two weeks. Shit. Dude, good luck, man. Having this show to look forward to every Friday makes every week that much easier. P.S. Who's the other dude and girl with Asmongold? <laughs> Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. P.S. Who's that other guy? Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy, yeah. man. The third guy on Steak and Eggs. The loud guy. Dude, do you know how yeah. many people come to watch uh, my Dark Souls stream from Steak and Eggs? A lot, probably. It was awesome. Yeah. The, That's so cool. The amount of happy. Steak and Eggers in fucking uh -huh. my chat last night was insane from Dark Souls. That made me so happy. That's sick. Hey, saw you from the podcast, man. <laughs> Didn't you say that like all of them were making you mad though? Yeah, last night. The oh, first okay. night was horrible. Last okay. night was actually, it was yeah. so I'm awesome. sure Asmund already has this, but for me and you, I think we are cultivating like a Souls community because I get people who always come to my chat and are like, are you going to play a Souls game today? That's yeah. exactly why I'm playing it's, Dark it's Souls nice. 1. Dude, I like I'm it. You, I like it. I'm telling you, Dark Souls 1, level 1. Mm -hmm. How cool would that be? Maybe I'll try when I'm done with Sekiro, but I, I want to play Elden Ring too. Yeah. Yeah, I would play new games first and then yep. try. Yeah. But I feel like that would be insane. Yeah. 
All right. Well, gentlemen, we've had a good show. We've had a good time. And I believe it is time for us to call the episode. So thank you all very much for watching. As always, make sure to check out our Patreon. We've got it in the link below. And you can look at all that stuff, more exclusive content and everything like that. But uh, it's been another episode. You guys had fun? Yeah, it was a good episode. Good time. All right, gentlemen. Thank you all very much for watching. And until the next time, peace. Say like, oh, you can have like 200 friends and acquaintances. Yeah. You can cut that. There's like 25% of that for me. Oh, no, 100%. Like, I, I, I just can't. Like, I, I can have like maybe like six to eight friends at a time. I totally get that. I like sitting in my house by myself. Yeah. And so, I, yeah, I've, that's how I've always done things. And I think that works pretty well. Like every once in a while, it's nice to go out and interact with people. But it's also nice to go home. Yeah. I like interacting with people. I just don't have a lot of like close friends. Yeah, if, if I didn't have my cats, I would not be at my house. Mm -hmm. I just, I love meeting people way too much. Really? Yeah, and every day I realize that more and more and more and more. Now, the problem is, is that I have an issue where a lot of people are not good at talking, uh -huh. like at all. And I have like this rule. Sometimes, you ever see, um, I think his name is Shao Kong from Mortal Kombat. He has this clip where like, he reaches towards somebody's chest and then he grabs it and he pulls their fucking soul out of their body. Oh, yeah. And uh, sometimes it feels that way when I'm having conversation with certain people. So I have, this, <laughs> I have this rule where if I ask someone three questions in a row and they don't ask me a question back, I'm good. Yeah. I'm done.